right, it is Tuesday. It is 821, and that means it is time for Try It Tuesday, where we try products before you spend your money on them. Is it worth the money? Is it worth the hype? Maybe it's a product. Maybe it's a trend, new style, whatever. We're going to try it if people are talking about it. We've done a... Drinks. We've done lattes. We've done uh, hair parts. We've done <laughs> lots cereals. of food stuff. Yeah. yeah. Today we're doing something different. I'm taking my camera right. Now. Y- you good? Yeah. Now we're good. All right. So what we're doing today is one of the hottest items that I've seen on TikTok all over the place. Steph, I know you have too, because we. This is how we discovered exactly. that this was going to be a big one. It is the Kat Von D. Good Apple Makeup Balm. Now, this stuff, it's KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. It uh, is said to be the the best makeup ever. People are doing these dramatic transformations of their skin with this makeup. Is it as good as they say it is? Well, and it's hard to find. It's sold we, out. You talked about this Mercedes off there a few weeks ago. And Steph and I have been looking. Steph found it online. She had it delivered last week. I was bouncing around to Ulta, Sephora. I went in. They had like the super dark shades. It's not even close to my skin color. Uh, it, it's hard to find the, the right color for, that fits your skin. It's, it's, it's hard to find this stuff out there. So I'm actually borrowing. Heather Collins had it. And she lent me hers. And what's funny about hers is I think her skin color that she got is closer to mine because I played with this over the weekend. I tried it. The skin color I got, like you said, they only had darker shades. And yeah. I was like, it'll be close enough. I got this medium 54. It's dark for my skin tone. That's the one that I have. <laughs> Look, medium 54. Yeah, I got the same one. So I will say it's darker than I usually wear. But with summer, it made me look like I had a, uh, a little bit of a glow. Oh, sun kiss. Yes. Yes, I am a light 006. Okay, well, let's first of all, let's look at the packaging here, guys. This is beautiful packaging. All of her products are are cruelty free. This is uh this is absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? I it's, it's plastic. Really? This is it's this, it's this beautiful packaging. It's recyclable. Yeah, and it's yeah, she said, like you said, vegan friendly. And I think what's cute about it too is um the imprint around it, it has like this nice little vintage look. Kind of like I'm Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Oh. So you can recycle this compact. It's very pretty. Now, they say that this, um, the reason why this stuff is called good apple is because it's infused with apple extract to help nourish your skin. So it's supposed to have some skin benefits, too. Um do you, did you guys, how are you guys going to apply? I bought makeup wipes because I have a little bit of makeup on now. So I'm going to actually take off. Take off. What I have just so we get a better idea of what's going on. How I was talking to apply? Steph off the air about this and um, I was just going to use my fingers to put it on. That's how I put my makeup on for TV. I just put some on my fingers and put it on my face. But Steph said I need to use a sponge. Or you, something. Yeah. A utensil of some sort. Because then it's going to look like... <laughs> A utensil. No, it's going to look like you're putting war paint on. Yeah, <laughs> That's how I do it. I'm, I'm going to battle. Be, it's not going to be very easy. Do you have extra sponges, Steph? I have plenty of extra sponges. you want me to go in there and yeah, give me some? Yeah, thank okay. you. And thank you to Heather for letting me borrow hers. I appreciate it. I bought a brand. I'm going to actually use a makeup brush um, to put it on. I bought a brand new foundation applicator. So well, look at that. You can use a brush for this. Or I can use this thing. Thank you. Um, this is how I've seen people applying it when they do it brush? online. Yeah, with this makeup brush. Okay, I took off my makeup, so I'm makeup free right now. Um, how are you, Steph? Are you makeup free? So uh, yeah, I'm makeup free, and I actually wanted to show like I have some skin marks. I have like a little blemish coming out. I have some hyperpigmentation, so I kind of want to see if this makeup is going to cover it, and if it'll react to it too. Okay, do you want to give it a shot first? Do you want to go first and see kind of how the coverage works? Sure. And are you using a brush or are you using a sponge? I'm using a brush. Here's my brush. Mm. What kind of brush is that? It looks like a cool brush. This is uh, hourglass. It says hourglass on it. It's uh, it, it helps with foundation application. It's a really good brush. I how often do you change your brush? Um, When they're dead, I clean my brushes every day. Oh, you do? Yeah, after I use it, I clean my brush. I need a makeup tutorial. (laughs) (laughs) Same here. I'm not that good with makeup either. Now, what do you recommend, Mercedes? Should I use the brush or should I use a sponge? I honestly feel like I get a better application from a brush. 
but um, I like to go over it once it's on with a brush with a sponge. Oh, if okay. If that makes any sense. Yeah. So I think you should use both. Okay, cool. Okay. So what do you recommend? A little bit first? They, they say a little bit goes a long way. So if I, this is how I would do it. I would just dab a little bit on the brush, not too much, and then just start applying. Are you using the um, your computer, the camera, the FaceTime camera that we got going here, or using a mirror to put it on? Oh, I'm going to just use our camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So which, let, let's see Steph put it on. She's putting... Oh, Oh my gosh, it just right away cut. That is the perfect shade for you, by the way. Okay, it's okay, okay. So if you can see, I have a little blemish here that's uh, kind of starting up, but you can tell that the color is going away. That's like full coverage, that and good. that just went over so smoothly. Okay, now I'm going to do my under eye. I have a little bit of dark spots underneath. Let's see if that'll cover it up. This is a perfect shade for you, which further emphasizes that this is not the shade for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am the a little. One? <laughs> yeah, Steph and I have the exact same shade. You'll see when I put it on. It's a little dark. Are you going to but... just do half your face, Mercedes? We can tell the difference. You're doing a whole co do full coverage. Um, I can do either one. I like I said, I took off my makeup, so I am makeup free right now. So we'll see how it looks, Steph. So right now it's just half face. I don't know if you guys are on Facebook Live, but look at this. I can see. That's really covered everything. Yeah. It's the only thing that I can see. I don't know if it's the ring light or not, but the kind of the glare and the light. the brightness underneath my eyes. It's kind of like a matte coverage. Okay, I'm gonna start doing it here, um, so you can see. I got a little on mine. Um, see, you can tell it's a little dark. Oh yeah, but this is the Kat Von D Good Apple. Is it concealer? What's it called? Foundation? It's a foundation balm. But look at that coverage. See, I have a lot of redness on my skin. That's good, Mercedes. It doesn't. Actually, it doesn't look so off. Bad. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a bad, the wrong color. The weekend. I'm putting it on the other side of my face too. So yeah. You can see some of the redness here. I can see that your redness is going away, Mercedes. Just a little bit. That looks good, you guys. Okay, JC. Moment of truth. All right, here we go. So I'm using a sponge. Put it on here. Dab will do you. Okay, I'm gonna do my whole face too now. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> is this a gag? <laughs> okay. Is this, a, is this a spoof? <laughs> Ethan Collins' color is not your she color. She's way too white. She's way too white for you. Oh my gosh, JC. <laughs> I'm acting like a circus clown. <laughs> that is not your sh shade at all. Oh no. Oh no. No, stop. Just stop. Just no, finish. <laughs> I want finish. <laughs> to finish. I look like I'm the ultimate warrior. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. That is so bad. It's so weird. This like looking on the screen is like opposite of what you're actually I putting know, on. I know. I know. It's it's not a mirror image. It's a it's goes the opposite direction. Don't look at yourself. Just kind of blend it. That is JC. You need a darker shade. 100% you need a darker shade. <laughs> that is what do you guys think? Kat Von D is dialed in. No. <laughs> that is so bad. JC, we need to get you uh, someone to test your color. I think that you might be actually a little bit closer to mine, but maybe lighter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a little darker than me, Steph, and mine kind of went in okay. I don't know. You look good. Do you want to Mercedes and Steph? You guys look beautiful. Well, thank you. Do you want to try one of ours or not? Really? We well, gotta take the take take this off then. Take the stuff there off. Yeah, you know what? I it's, yeah. uh, yeah, it's all right. Um, we're getting some questions here. Yes. Sherry wants to know: Does it feel heavy on your face? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> For me, no. It, it it actually I like the consistency of it because it's it's full coverage, but not just that. Um, it doesn't feel cakey. Yet. Now, I wonder how this will feel in a few hours from right now. Will it will it feel cakey then? That is the question. When I tried it this weekend, I only wore it for like three or four hours and the consistency was perfect after the fact. I just got to cover JC's part of the, the screen because I can't. Wow. I'm looking at Mercedes talk, <laughs> but then um, I go over to my right and I'm like, uh, is that who I think it is? Is it? It's too light, right? It's way too light. Man, Heather. That is not your color. You definitely need to go darker. Tree says Casper JC. That's right. <laughs> and it you're terrible at blending. You do not do a good job <laughs> blending. Because I think we could get it blended. You'd still be very pale. But can you can you sponge it out a little bit? Can you? Uh, yeah, let's see. Here, I have a sponge. I'll show you. Just 
kind of pat at it like this. Uh huh. Um, just to even it out. Okay. You literally look like. <gasps> I don't know what you look like. You look like you're getting ready for Halloween, that Jack Skeleton. <laughs> yes, that you. is exactly what you look like. Your Beautiful. Halloween costume from two Beautiful. years ago. Hey, I, see, it's not, hey, you know what, Mercedes? It's not bad when I kind of even it out. When you even it out, you're still very pale, yes. but at least it looks even out. Can you put it over your eyes? No. Because you have these circles around your eyes. Really? You put it over your eyes? Yeah. yeah. You do? Yeah. You When you put this on, you put it over your eyes. Yeah. You put it under, you put it over. Yeah. I don't. Interesting. Well, I mean... I think we wear makeup more than you, Jay. Steph, your skin looks flawless. Yeah, you guys look really good. Your skin looks flawless. You know, I was actually thinking of returning this later because my, well, it does depend on how my skin reacts to it over time, but I was going to return it because I was like, I don't need this. I have a other foundation liquid that I use, but I might keep it. It's actually really looking good. I, I'm going to keep this too, even though I think it's a little too dark for me. I like it for summer. Because it gives me some color. I think I have more color than I did before. Uh, Mercedes, you know, yours looks natural. It really does. It does? It, yeah, just me looking at I'm looking at the, the computer screen, but yeah, it looks really good. Um, yours does not look natural. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you still look great. Thank I, you. you still look great. Um, Patty says, I saw a video on Instagram yesterday about this, and the person didn't like it after eight hours and said it was breaking down and losing coverage. Have you found this to be true? Like I said, when I wore it this weekend, it was only about four hours that I noticed uh, nothing had happened. Uh, beautiful ladies, JC Thank looks you. gray. <laughs> you don't look gray, but you don't look brown <laughs> you're right in the should, tweet should i keep this on when i do my errands after the show no i gotta do a couple errands i i think that oh man jc i wish we would have gotten you the right sh you shade. know what i went and they had the, it was like the darkest shade they had and lazy like, it's, it's gonna be too dark for you maybe i need the darker shade you definitely need something <laughs> i wonder if we mix the r's with his he's darker than both of us Steph, look at him. Do you think that he's darker or he's just a little bit more red? That could be it, too. You do have a red tone. Oh, man. I... You're terrible at blending, and it's yeah, not. I'm... Thank you. Miguel, I'm Sting. I'm Sting <laughs> the Sad Cloud Mercedes. <laughs> you're, you're something. Um, you're, yeah, you're like Sting's little brother. <laughs> poke. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. I think you ladies give a thumbs up, though. Um, I give it a thumbs up for right now. I really want to see how it is a couple of hours later uh, by the end of the day. But for right now, thumbs up, good. Steph. Yeah, same. I think I need to wait, too. Sometimes like, my, my acne will act up after like maybe a few hours. So we'll see. JC? Yeah, I give it a thumbs up, too. Per <laughs> per perfect color. If, you, if you're not if you're in your car, jump on Facebook. We get to, to work and check out the pictures. We should have had Heather do it with her own yes, color. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, that was good. That was a good try Tuesday. I mean, it's a, it was a hot eye.